It is the 11th of the 4th, 2013, and this is today's radioactive reality. I'm going to go down the headlines. E&E News. <clears throat> AP, situation is on the verge of collapse at Fukushima Diachi. Eight incidents in the last three weeks, quote, highly vulnerable, extremely unstable. Doubts about whether the plant can stay intact. Now they're talking about the piping system and the electrical system. They've, um, they've rigged together for a temporary fix, much like the tanks that they've been using, um, will not hold together. Uh, this long-term situation needs more than just a temporary fix. This thing is getting out of control and they can't hide it anymore. New York Times, Fukushima plant unstable, says official. Concern another accident can't be prevented. Vulnerable, very dangerous. And here they go, they're setting us up. Uh, paper, Three, 35 square mile megapod of dolphins related to sea lion deaths in California? Question mark. Remember that big megapod of dolphins they were all um, jumping for joy about uh, not too very long ago? And last year, the record number of whales that they spotted along California. I remember uh, doing a story on that as well. So the sea life definitely knows something's up and they're getting the heck out of Dodge. I uh, highly advise you stay out of the Pacific Ocean for any length of time. Catastrophic disaster to happen in front of our eyes after Fukushima. How can the government stand by and do nothing? Must evacuate all children. We've been going on about this for years. Um, might be a little too late for a lot of these folks, unfortunately. The Huffington Post, health concerns increasing after Arkansas oil spill. Students have been sent home after illness from the fumes. And uh, workers have been spotted cleaning up dead fish at night. Of course, they don't want this to get out on the mainstream. Uh, this isn't really an oil spill. This is a sand spill. And uh, how they can get away with this is just another example of what's truly wrong um, with what's going on. Uh, TEPCO, losing faith in leaking Fukushima tanks, but we don't have anywhere else to put it, uh, to put the radioactive water. I've got another story I'm going to cover on that later. Uh, devastating quake strikes near nuclear plant in Iran. Uh, they built their um, nuclear reactor on a very unstable area uh, where three plates converge. Um, highly uh, earthquake prone uh, area. They say nothing, uh, no damage happened to the nuclear reactor, but uh, hundreds of buildings were destroyed in little towns around this place. Uh, again, just another case of the insanity that is the nuclear industry all over the world. A uh, legal expert, giant sinkhole now roughly as big as the Superdome, humanitarian crisis in the center of Louisiana, and that's that salt dome that continues to collapse and settle uh, in what will eventually become Lake Corn. Uh, oil, everything else is bubbling out of the thing, and uh, again, here we go again with a normal corporate cover-up. And over to uh, an article on Fukushima Diary. The only countermeasure, TEPCO pumping up leaked water to return to the crippled reservoirs. Uh, they're scooping up the water they can, um, leaking out of these reservoirs, and they're pumping them right back in. Uh, much like reports I've seen of uh, spent fuel number four and number three are leaking, and they're pumping the water back into those uh, as fast as they leak out kind of thing. A serious problem in the quick fix. Uh, about the major leak of highly contaminated water reservoir, TEPCO announced the press release. In a report, TEPCO states that they, they are pumping up the leaked water to return to crippled reservoirs, according to TEPCO. Those reservoirs are leaking until early June. Must be a translation. Now pumping up water to give it back to the reservoirs is their only countermeasure. <clears throat> I found another story on that Fukushima plant abandoning leaky underground pools, so they're not planning on fixing these at all. Uh, the operator of Japan's crippled Fukushima nuclear power plant said Wednesday that it will abandon seven underground reservoirs storing radioactive water after three of them sprang leaks. Uh, the contaminated, contaminated water will be transferred for more reliable containers on the ground, possibly in early June. To avoid risk of further leaks, Tokyo Electric Power uh, told the news at a news conference. 
quote, we have yet to gap the cause of the leaks, but we will strengthen monitoring activities so as to prevent water from flowing into the sea. Yeah, right. Uh, we want to transfer contaminated water from the underground reservoirs as soon as possible. And you got to remember, they just dug big pits in the ground. Uh, they put pond liners down on the bottom of this, uh, built it up, and then covered it over. And they've been using those as, as these huge tanks. And of course, uh, they're leaking. They're leaking. Uh, I re had a report on um, Fukushima Diary that uh, they were pumping it from reservoir number three to reservoir number six, and the pump was leaking out. And uh, they lost a lot of water that way as well. So uh, this thing's getting into the sea. And uh, I I'm thinking, I'm, this is just my opinion, um, that they will use this as an excuse. No, it's not the corium uh, under the ground that's, that's uh, radiating the water off the coast of Japan, which happens to be the record highest temperature on the planet off the coast of Fukushima. And uh, again, no mention of uh, corium or uh, meltdowns or anything like that. Uh, very interesting read. And finally tonight, uh, Japan adopts new set of nuclear safety rules. On Wednesday, officials from Japan's Nuclear Regulation Authority approved a new set of nuclear safety guidelines for utilities to follow in order to prepare for emergencies and natural disasters. The new rules will go into effect in July. The rules are stricter in, in controlling how utilities prepare for serious accidents most will need to meet in order to restart any shutdown nuclear reactors. Next to the new guidelines will be updated after talking to public opinion into account, or taking public opinion into account. Yeah, right. You gotta remember, corporations are people. Most attention now will be focused on how nuclear re regulation authority will apply new safety guidelines to the operational reactors on the Ojai nuclear power plant, and those are the only two reactors running in Japan right now, and to scream idle reactors warning to restart last month, officials from the regulatory agency decided not to apply any new safety guidelines to the Ojai plant until their regular inspection later this year. So they're going to keep running these reactors even though they're on fault lines, and um, the insanity continues. It just continues. Uh, that's about all I got for you today. Of course, if I missed anything, please uh, leave your comments or attach your videos below. Enjoy while you can, everybody. Thanks.